Guys, I have a confession to make. Shall I make the confession? Selfie addiction. This is the Hollywood of India. Make the confession! And no wonder, because look at the view. We are now heading to the mountains called Kalashgiri because we want to see the sights from there. Oh wow, the speed breakers here by the way. <laughs> there are sometimes like three, one after the other and you're like... We are heading there because they recommended us, they suggested us to go to see the sights of the city of Vizag. Come with us, let's see what we're gonna see. So we are at Kailashgiri, it's like a big hill here which overlooks the city and then there is the sea on one side. Seems like a really pretty pretty place. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just... gonna try to catch the best view. We have already seen that it's like the Hollywood because there is the sign that you can yes. see from the street. We see two statues and you will see them in three, two, and one so these are like the gods in hinduism and that is shiva on the left and that is parvati on the right i definitely came with the wrong shoes what don't be like me come with proper trainers because otherwise you don't know how you're gonna climb this hill there is such a nice breeze and you can see I don't know if you see them, but there is basically like a school having a picnic in a park, which is quite a thing here in India. And I love it. One thing that I've noticed is that every student that I've seen in India wears a uniform, and this is something I'm so jealous about. Maybe if some students are watching these videos, they might hate me for saying this, but I wish they had uniforms in Italy. In Italy, we don't wear any uniform, whether that's a public or a private school. I find uniforms super cute. <laughs> And I find it so much better because then it prevents you from getting judgment from your outfit. And we know like nowadays basically it starts really early at elementary school and you become like quite difficult in deciding what you wear. I definitely have to speak louder because we realize that the GoPro microphone is a bit weird. But one of the reasons why I don't speak so loud is because I'm a bit conscious when I'm going around India these days. I get observed a lot and I guess that's absolutely normal but I never knew I was a bit shy so if you notice sometimes I get a bit awkward in front of the camera that's because someone is watching me or someone is like trying to catch my attention or asking me for a selfie let me tell you something if you find me around the street in India stop me for a picture don't worry let me know that you watch my videos because I'm always happy to meet you and I'm happy to hear feedback and I'm happy to have ideas from you on what I should make the videos about. So if you see me around, you can stop me, don't worry. I just wanted to explain to you why sometimes I might look a bit weird at the camera. <laughs> I guess people just like the extreme sensation of being really close to a train. But the train is quite slow, so don't worry. You're not risking our lives. Selfie addiction! Let's see if they're gonna honk. <laughs> we were just noticing that the haze is coming up again. Maybe guys, there's uh, one thing that I don't know if you guys know. Maybe Julia mentioned it in one of the videos, I don't know. But Julia's weak point is sunsets. She just loves yes. sunsets. So what we will do is we will try to wait for the sunset here. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. There is a train passing by. Very slowly. Extremely slowly. <laughs> My house in Italy is really close to the train so I don't get absolutely scared by being close to train. So I've been in LA many times because my best friend lives there and this precisely reminds me of the hiking that everyone does at the Hollywood Hill. So it's the hiking trail, all the VIPs do it and they all take pictures behind the Hollywood sign. So in a way we can say that this is the Hollywood of India. 
It seems like this is the place where most of the couples come for the romantic dates and no wonder because look at the view Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. That was super cute. confession to make shall I make the confession make the confession shall I make it make the confession she asked me if I could serve my confession is that I can't even swim <laughs> no I know you knew how to swim because your sister told me that you even taught her I can swim but I can't take my head out of the water so I can swim under the water and I can go like this but I can only swim for one minute because then I can't bring my head up. But this is something that we gotta learn because I'm a fish. I think in my previous life I was a fish. Because you can ask Shay as soon as we are somewhere where I can swim. I just say bye bye and then I just leave him for like four hours. I love swimming. We went so to that's Sardinia. Yeah. If you haven't been to Sardinia in Italy, you have to go. I've never seen such blue sea and you can see your feet it's super clear blue we're gonna put a picture now Shrey and I went there a couple of years ago and they actually started swimming the bit again, right? yeah but I still can't take my head above the water we're gonna get there we're gonna get there we just need to find an English speaking swimming trainer in Berlin which is quite impossible but we're gonna find it if you're in Berlin and you know someone, leave it in the comments below because I really want you to swim with me. This feels really similar to the seasides and the beaches I've seen in California. Really vast landscape, vast shore and open panorama. Where in Italy, they are quite tiny and small, right? So they are tinier so many people in one beach. Let me show you the Indian fisherman. So you can see the beach here and then we go around and we see the hills, the mountains. Look, so beautiful. And then we go all around and we see another piece of a beach. Barbecues, we don't have the tradition of roasting them. I 
think we'll put a bit of paprika. Wow. It was a chew. So easy to chew. Wow, this was super nice. I'm discovering so many new things. I've just noticed these two bins. Guess what time it is? It's time to leave Wyzag. We had a great time in Wyzag and unfortunately yeah. we have to leave. That's really sad. But uh, new adventures await us. And yes. we won't tell you where we're going next. So just check our video to find out. It's a surprise. Mm -hmm. And we want to say thanks to Wyzag. It was such a great host, a great city. Lovely stay. And uh, Green, really enjoyable. Clean, amazing air. Uh, we got a nice walk in the seaside. So it's Bye-bye.